Uh, we're looking at um, doing some outsourcing uh, for bookkeeping for monthly accounting. Okay. And um, we're in the final stages now. We're comparing um, QXAS with Inator Global. And uh, I have two resumes uh, for the people, one at each firm. And okay. uh, she recommended that I speak with you to get uh, your feedback as to, you know, which, how to narrow down the uh, process. Have you met with both of them or not yet? I haven't met with them, though. No. You haven't met with them. And do you have to meet with them in order to, uh, like, like, to sign up with them? Do you, like, can you meet with them first or no? You have to make the decision before. I can meet with them if I want to. Um, okay. So they have given me that option. I haven't taken them up for that yet. They just sent me the uh, resumes for each person. I would absolutely want to schedule interviews with both to see how they compare. Okay. Uh, I would also set up a culture case for both. Give me insight into the, these two candidates. Yeah. Um, so both of these guys, um, essentially within the tour global, um, they're happy to help us out with the monthly accounting. Uh, if we need any tax preparation help, that's where the buck stops with them because they aren't, they aren't really experienced in Canada. They're mainly focused in the States. Whereas uh, with QXAS, um, the person there does have experience with tax prep. Um, so I do have that flexibility if I want to outsource the tax prep. What I'm just look, looking for right now is to outsource the monthly accounting. Um, as well as, you know, I searched feedback in the group in the seven figure firms group and i've seen that you know quite a quite a few of the big household names in the group uh, they've gone away from qxas mm -hmm. they found that they were very slow they were making a lot of mistakes and now they've gone in within within a tour yep. um so you know i'm kind of torn because i like the fact that qxas i can expand and use them for tax prep mm -hmm. uh, but within a tour i can't uh, but at the same time, what I do like within a tour is that they were saying part of what their process is, is that 50% of this person's work that they assigned to me gets reviewed by a senior tax manager and they don't charge me extra for that. Whereas with QXAS, if I want someone to review their work, um, then they have to charge us. Right. Uh, so I'm a, a little bit torn. Okay. Um, it's all about the team and the team member that you're going to be dealing with, because if you're dealing with a solid person, whether that in a tour or QXAS, it's not going to matter if they're a solid person. Uh, so going back to what I first says, I do think you should try to interview both of them to see how, 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 uh, how they, uh, handle your questions. Um, you know, you said that you don't need this person for tax prep, even though you like the idea of that being a bonus, right? You need this person for more monthly accounting. Yes. Okay then that really should be your main focus. So that, you know, we, if we're weighing Inator against QXAS because QXAS can have that tax prep, like I wouldn't add that much weight to it. I would, I would try to establish, because I'm trying to solve this problem of my monthly accounting, my bookkeeping. How do they compare on just that front? And then the tax prep is just an extra little bonus. Any other considerations? Um, people have moved from QXAS to Inator because of the fact that they have the reviewers on top of that. Um, and um, the communication, I, I know people that have used QXAS in the past, the communication has been a struggle for them that they, you know, it, it's somehow been a miscommunication on that particular team. We've also seen people with QXAS have a great person and their communication is great. So it's really going to depend on when you meet with that person, doing a full interview to understand how they're going to be. Uh, and if you really connect with one, one of them, then go with them uh, on that monthly. If we're, if we're comparing apples to apples on monthly accounting, that's what I would go after. Um, if you're really on the fence about both of them, you liked both of them, they were both a slam dunk. And at the end of the day, this person can also do tax, then I'd go with QXAX. Okay. 